Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we are going to be starting a new series on the Hyperlight frame. This is from Serge over at Pyrodrone. We talked about this in my day in the life, and this is a really exciting frame. This is a stretched X, which means it's longer from front to back, and it gives it really good speed, and it's great for racing specifically. And so this is going to be, I don't know how many parts it's going to be. Now, this is not going to be a complete build. I'm not going to go from beginning to end. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the steps um, and different points in the build and kind of highlight them. So um, this is the first step. So it's obviously building the frame. So um, building it is super simple, but it does help sometimes to get a view of exactly what it looks like built. Um, so you have the bottom plate here okay and uh, it's pretty it's obvious which way it goes um, it's kind of an arrow almost pointing forward if you can see that in the video um, and then we the mount the arms get mounted on that we have these really long m3s i don't know exactly what size they are but they're really long and um then these nuts go between the arms and then this middle plate okay so this is so it's got a bottom plate and a middle plate you can see that's where the antenna for the fpv system is going to mount and then um you're going to place some i have a finished one here to kind of give you an idea of how the components and everything are going to lay in there so Hopefully my camera is going to focus on this. Guys, I'm just learning this camera. So um, as you can see, so you can see there we have the screws, which were on the bottom. And then we mount the PDB. We've got these little spacers. These are nylon spacers that are in the kit, these little standoffs. And then the flight controller. And then the metal standoffs go above that. Same thing in the front. There's metal standoffs that are underneath this camera, TPU camera mount, which slides right on top of it. Now that's, you know, you're going to need to wiggle and kind of be gentle, but you're going to have to play with it a little bit to get it on there because it's a really tight compression fit. Um, and then the top plate. And so um, it will go PDB, flight controller, receiver for your um for your fr sky or our spectrum and then mounted on top here is going to be the vtx okay you want to get a vtx that has a pigtail on it so that you can run the pigtail right out the side here or out the back and into the antenna as you can see there we don't have one here yet we've I've got to pick those up when i go in the shop um, but sometimes even at the beginning of the build it really helps to see what the completed build looks like so that you can see kind of how everything is run. Ran is actually the, the better term. You, you guys will notice if I, <laughs> if you follow my videos at all, um, I have a little bit of my own language and I do apologize for that. Um, my wife calls them Doug isms cause my name is Doug. So, but that's, so that's the completed, um, so the, the, the build is straightforward, really, really simple. And um, I don't have the spacers in there for the the, the nylon standoffs, but um, I just wanted to show you, you know, what it looked like built. So um, the first step will be getting this bottom portion. So it will not, you won't put the standoffs on there, the metal standoffs yet. Um, and let me show you what that looks like. I'll be back here. Okay, so thought I would show you guys. So this is basically, this would be step one with the frame. Um, you know, you're going to go ahead and bottom plate first, M3s, the long M3s go through. You then are going to drop the arms down onto the long M3s, then the middle plate, and then the nuts. Now, one thing, you do want to leave these nuts a little bit loose. And the reason for that is when you go to drop your PDB and your flight controller on, if you tighten them down, these can be misaligned, can be off, you know, maybe 
tilted just a little bit. And so um, it really helps in assembly of, of dropping the components on. And then when you're all done, you can tighten everything up. Another thing I would suggest on this frame is that you add some liquid tape. You can see I did that on the back here. You don't need it on the front, but on the back. And, and it's just an extra measure. Now, I this is the PDB that's going on this. This is the Hub OSD. This customer um, opted for the Hub OSD, and that is an option on Surge's website. Um, it's at an extra cost, but it's it's really reasonable. But like a lot, lot of you guys, I um, tape every one of my PDBs. It doesn't matter what's underneath it. I'm just going to tape it because it's just what I do. Um, but because this one sits, you can see it slides right in here. And it's going these, these where the voltage comes, comes in for my, um, to the PDB is right underneath that is this nut. Well, um, for added measure, just put that, put a little bit of that, um, liquid tape on there. And that way you're not going to have any problems and, uh, we won't have any, um, issues. You know, it, the, the tape that's on the bottom here will, will protect it, but this is added protection in a crash. Okay. So that when you hit really hard, um, there's no issues. And the reality is if you fly, you crash, right? So, um, so that's that's basically how it's going to go. It's going to go PDB down, then um, the standoffs, the nylon standoffs are going to go on top of that, then the flight controller. And I will update this as we go and kind of show different points in the build and uh, make it easy for you guys, hopefully. And if I'm missing anything, just put in the comments, hey, I didn't see this. Can you show this? And I'll do my best too. So hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you get to fly. Thanks so much.